All right, let's get into this new updated method that I have figured out. This has taken me four years of trial and error. I cannot tell you how many attempts I've had at these ocean waves until I finally figured out a perfect method. So all of my supplies will be linked in the description below. I'm just using a pigment and a white dye, but yes, they will all be linked in the description. Starting off, I usually leave my resin and hardener in hot water for about 10 minutes and I just make sure I thoroughly dry the cups before I mix them together. So you're going to mix your resin for four minutes as usual and then mix your white dye and your pigment in with your resin and just spread that all around. With the method I posted about before, I just found sometimes it would work and sometimes it wouldn't. So this method works every single time. You're going to now take your white dye mixed with resin and just pour a very thin layer along the top. I went in and added a little bit more just because I wanted the white right at the edge, but a thin line is good because it will spread very far. Next, you're going to tilt your heat gun to the side and just slowly spread the white dye out. Don't spend too much time in one area or you might ruin the cells, but just kind of slowly go along like I am here. What I love so much about this dye is that it keeps that thick kind of foam part of where the wave would be and it doesn't just spread the color all the way down. I'll show you a picture of what I found the white alcohol link did in comparison to this and why I love this so much more. So as you can see here, it's spreading the color all the way down, so it's not leaving that kind of thick foam layer, which would be right on the sand, right on the shore, if you know what I mean. So see how this is just spreading it? It's not really working. Yeah, I'm very happy I found this new method because this was me trying to make this white alcohol link work, and I'm using all the same techniques, the same a brand of resin, the same heat gun technique, and it just still wouldn't work, and I would get very frustrated and upset. Okay, so that's what didn't work in an old example. Now let's get back into the current day tutorial. And also go in with a blowtorch very lightly and just kind of go along the edges to spread it out nicer, but you don't have to do that step. That's just something I like to add in. You can see there's some blue coming through at the top. I'll just go in and add a little bit more white just to cover that up and then maybe use a little bit of the heat gun to spread it nicely. Here's another old project that didn't work and I'm about to fix it with my new method. So I just put some clear resin on top because the background's already blue. So I don't have to really add any color to that. And same method as before, I'm just pouring a thin white line along the top and then I'm just gonna spread it out by tilting my heat gun to the side and just kind of moving in slow motions. I actually didn't tilt it to the side in this example and it still worked out. That's how much this method worked. I felt like before I had to have this exact perfect formula and it still wouldn't always work. I feel like the cells just form so much easier with this dye versus the white alcohol ink. It's also important to mention that you need to be working on an even surface. So whatever it's balancing on, just make sure it's level because otherwise the waves might spread and just kind of fall off because the resin does move as it's curing. And for the resin that I was using, it was just a 24 hour cure and then it was complete. So this is my foolproof method that works every single time. That is all for me today. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up if you found this video helpful and subscribe if you're new. Thank you so much for being here and I hope to see you in my next video. Happy ocean wave creating. Bye!